RTO here. Um, welcome to another surprise for you. It's another tier ranking, the second one. And this one, people, after watching the Marillion one, said, you've got to do these. And yes, I am. So today, we're going to do a tier ranking of Uri Heap, one of my favourite bands ever. And this is because we've now got um, Colour and Chaos, and I wanted to do this. So we've got the usual, we've got five categories. We've got top draw Uriah Heap, excellent Uriah Heap, solid Uriah Heap, a mixed bag and okay and mm, yeah. So, 25 albums, that's quite a lot. And uh, so here we go. So it all began in 1970 with very heavy, very heavy very humble. What do I think of this album? Mm, it's got Gypsy on for a starters. And it's also got Come Away Melinda on it. Is it top draw? Of course it is. It's one of the great debut albums by a band. One of the great 1970 debut albums. So the second up was Salisbury to the first of two albums in 1971. Now this one came out in the January. This of course has got Lady in Black on it and Birds of Prey and the magnificent Salisbury. Now where do I port Salisbury? Um, bit experimental. I liked it, but it's not top draw for me. It goes into excellent, I think, because, you know, I think Salisbury does go on a little bit, but it has got the classic Bird of Prey and Lady in Black on it, so uh, we'll go for that. So, then later in um, 1971, in September, the third album came out, Look at Yourself. I love this album. Absolutely killer What's it got on it? Let's go. It's got Look at Yourself for a start. July morning. What more can you ask for? Some great tracks on this album. So it's definitely top draw, but it is going in there. It's just a it's much better than um, Very Heavy and Very Humble. They've sort of mastered their craft. So the fourth album came out in 1972. Again, they released two that year. Now this one go to me notes came out in the May and it's Demons and Wizards a brilliant album uh, my favourite album so there's only one place for that isn't there really Top Draw it's got some great tracks on that one hasn't it um, it's got uh, the Wizard Travelling Dawn and Paradise what more again some great great tracks so November 72 uh, pops the fifth album, The Magician's Birthday. Uh, another brilliant album. Of course, it's got the brilliant title track on that one. And I love that. Sunrise. Uh, Sweet Lorraine. Really good track. So, it is going to go into top. Trot, door. And we'll put him in there. There we go. So next up, album number six, Sweet Freedom. Good album. It's got my fav one of my favourite tracks, Stealing, on this. And, um, and Sweet Freedom, of course. Oh, this one's going to be hard. This one's going to be hard. Oh, is it an excellent or a solid album? Oh, oh dear, this is tough. I think I'm going to put it in solid. There's some of the tracks on there are not, some of them are not my favourites, but it's got stealing on and I do like that. But so I think I'm going to put that one in a solid, a solid um, album. Okay, next up, I have one number seven, 1974's Wonder World. Ooh, now. This has got Wonderworld on it and Suicide Man. But this is when I think that they, they, 
the, that round, the lineup was starting to waver a little bit. Um, it's an album I don't play as much as the others, so I'm going to put that in the mix bag one today. Probably change next week. You know what I'm like. So, album number eight. This was from 1975. And it is Return to Fantasy. Ooh, again, this is one of them albums. I'm just trying to think where I can put this. Oh, it's, again, it's got the brilliant Return to Fantasy on it, hasn't it? Oh, dearie me. Come on, Ian, think. See, I do this ad hoc. I don't do any prep on this. Ooh. I don't think it's it's solid, but it's a bit better than Sweet Freedom, I think. No, I, I, I'll be first. Oh, it'll go into second. <laughs> okay, then next up, David Byron's last album, High and Mighty, nineteen seventy-six. It was the weakest one, and it's an album that I'm not very keen on. Um, so I'll put it in the okay, I think. It's it's for an album I don't play that much, so we'll put it in there, shall we? Okay, up next, the first two albums in 1977, and John Wharton's now singing with them. Um... And the first album he put out with them was Firefly. Got one of my favourite tracks from the John Lawton era. Sympathy. And Wise Man, which are absolute classics. It's an excellent album. So I'm going to put it in there now. Where should we put it? Yeah, I think that's there. It's an excellent album. First, you know, come back strong. New singer, new direction. That's a good album. Really like that one. Okay, the second uh, John Lawton album was Innocent Victim. And that came out... When did this one come out? This one came out in um, November of 77. Uh, it's got Free and Easy on, which is a brilliant track. Um, and Choices is a pretty cool track as well. Um, is it better than Firefly? No, but it's still an excellent album. <laughs> so I'll put I'll put that one there for now. I might change it. You never know with me. Um Then the twelfth album from nineteen seventy eight was John Wharton's last Fallen Angel. Oh dearie me. It's the weaker of the three that John did. Come on, where do I put this one? It's a solid album. Now, do I prefer it to Wonder World? No, I don't. <laughs> Tough this is. Okay. John Lawton leaves. In comes John Solomon. And we got Conquest, the 13th album in... 1980. Oh dear me, I never like this. Uh, it is a very disappointing album. It nearly got into my disappointing albums, what I did with Richard yesterday. Oh, where do I put this one? Oh, it's, uh, there's only one place for it. Uh, there. <laughs> I've never been crying on that. So, after that disappointment, they changed Singer again, again, and got Pete Golby in. And they had the 1982 A Bomb Me Nog. Now, I love this album. It is absolutely a killer album. It's very 80s, but it's got Sell Your Soul on and Too Scared to Run, which are just awesome albums. It's an excellent album. I saw them 
not on this tour, but I did see them play a lot of tracks off that, and I love that album. It's got one of my favourite covers by Uriah Heep, so that's excellent. Um, where does it go? Oh, it goes in next to Salisbury, because that's a killer album. Okay, next up. Now, I saw them on this tour. No, I didn't. Next up is number 15, Head First. Now... It's got some good tracks on it. It's got some wishy-washy tracks on. So it's got the other side of Midnight on, which is a cool track. So I think it needs to go in mixed bag, but I think Wonderworld dust clips it for them. Okay, next up, the 16th album from 1985. Now this is the tour that I did see them on first time I saw them and they were brilliant live um, and the album was Equator now the thing with Equator is it's um, very 1980s but when you hear these tracks live they're really good um, highlights on for me is uh, Rockorama I don't mind although it's a bit quirky and I like Bad Blood Road no, that's on the other album. What am I thinking? Go back to your notes, Ian. Bad Blood's good on it, and Rich Little Girl's good. So, yeah, it's it's a bit of an okay album. So, um, it's a lot better than Conquest, but not as good as High and Mighty. So, that's where Equator belongs. Okay, up next, the 17th album. Bernie's first, Rage and Silence, and I saw them on this tour as well. Great stuff. Um, on the you got Argent's Hold Your Head Up High, which is pretty good, but it's got um, Blood Red Roses, which is a cool track. Now, first one up for him. Oh, dear. I like a lot some of the tracks. Some of the keyboard's a bit rank. Because it was 1989. It doesn't go in the okay. I think this is a mixed bag album. And we'll put it in the there, I think. Okay, 18th album next. Next time out, 1991. And it was the Different World album. Now, I don't mind this album. It's one of the, what I call... Um... good album solid you know second album of Bernie so I think I'm gonna put that down as a very solid album so I'll put him in there next up 19th album they don't have churn them out don't they Sea of Light from 1995 Universal Wheels is brilliant on that uh, Fear of Falling Oh dear, come on, thinking. It's all right. I keep looking at my ranking, and then thinking, do I? Where do I put it in the ranking? Da, 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 da. Now I played this not so long ago, and and when I had it ranked, I could I think I'm going to put it as a solid album. There we go. <laughs> it is pretty. I do like playing that one. I'm still trying to get used to this, doing them like this. I've got to look at that, look at that, look at it. My eyes just, woo, woo, so <laughs> I do apologise. We'll get this crap, we crack it, we'll crack this eventually. Okay, next up, the 20th album, 20th anniversary, 1998. Sonic Origami, Best of Both Worlds, is absolutely brilliant. Heartless Man is a brilliant, I do love this album. And I think this is a solid album. I think I'll put it in there. No, hang on. It's better. Another solid album from the band. Album 21. Wake the Sleeper. Good album. Opens up with that brilliant... Uh, title track instrumental killer for Mickey Box 
Oh, what about the album? That's yeah, a solid album. Very solid album. And I think I'll put that next to See a Light. Album 22 from 2011. Into the Wild. Now, I love this album. Um pretty solid you know that this is when they started the later years when they really started churning out some absolutely unbelievable albums and this is what the start of it um again uh, this is just a great album and the more i listen to it the more i like it again now and i'm going to put it in as an excellent album uh, since i did this ranking i have really listened to the uh, later stuff and i'm getting much more into the later stuff I think it's terrific. So next up on the list was album 23, Outsider from 2014. Speed of Sounds on this. I love that track. Um, good album. And I think this one... is going in there as a solid album really good album check the if you've not listened to these later ones go and check them out because they're really good then we got album 24 from 2018 living the dream another brilliant album goodbye to innocence on here dreams on yesterday year brilliant album um this belongs up here in an excellent album okay now we come to the latest album that came out this year colors and chaos my, one of my favorite albums of the year so far absolutely killer and this band just get better and better and if I was to re-rank this, this would be top 10, without a doubt. Um, it's just an absolutely brilliant album. So it is, I really, this might be controversial, but I think that belongs up there. It is top draw Uriah Heep. From a brilliant, brilliant band. Okay, there we go. There's another little tier um, ranking for you. Um, got to find out which one I'm doing next. These are all how top because you won't know when they will happen, which is good, really. Usually, I like that this as this is a nice little Sunday morning thing to do. Um, instead of doing something just not meaningful, like doing nothing, it's this is just a good good bit of fun. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow where we'll be looking at the album, solo albums of Mr. Ronnie Wood of the Faces, Jeff Beck Group and Rolling Stones, of course. And then we've got a really good um, classic album for you, if you can't believe your ears and eyes, from the fantastic Mamas and Papas. So have a good Sunday and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.